now, the rest of the story. When Fred's car skidded off the road, crashed in western Pennsylvania, an industry held its breath. And when he died of his injuries on July 26, automotive engineers the world over were dumbstruck. Now, Fred's name may not mean anything to you, but what he did does. Fred's dreams were the stuff of which the future is made, for it was he who first envisioned something the world has not yet managed to take for granted, the computerized car. Only this is the rest of the story. Ever since Fred's first day in the automobile business, one revolutionary concept continued to haunt him, a car that could care for itself, a car that could service itself as it ran, that could tell the driver when something major went wrong and relate what needed to be done, a computerized car. Modern automobiles wore out too quickly, Fred said. What the nation needed was a permanent car, a vehicle of unprecedented refinement and longevity. And one of the main features of such an automobile would be the ability to monitor all of its systems, thus to stop trouble before it started. From the beginning, Fred was a performance-minded engineer. The racing engines he designed won top competitions worldwide, including the French Grand Prix. And then later, when Fred began designing family cars, he continued to stress the importance of performance, rapid acceleration, racetrack speed, and then Fred produced his masterpiece. It had a powerful straight-line eight-cylinder engine with four valves per cylinder and dual overhead cams unheard of in those days, 265 horses, 150 miles an hour on the speedometer, but would do an honest 120 on the open road, the fastest passenger car anywhere and on a 12-foot, 9-inch wheelbase. This was an automobile designed to stay showroom sweet for 25 years. And perhaps, most incredible of all, it was computerized. Computerized. The instrument panel was a glow with sophisticated indicators which monitored everything, from the age of the engine oil to the level of the water in the battery. Every 75 miles, the computer, the onboard computer, would check its own automatic chassis lubrication system and would flash an appropriate dash light. Now we're looking at 1990 automobiles. And I can tell you that they have not yet caught up with Fred's super machine. Even though his Model J has already been introduced... You see, after Fred's car wreck on a road in western Pennsylvania, he died July 26, 1932. I said Fred died as the result of a car wreck in 1932. His amazingly modern computerized automobile was on the market in 1929. For Fred was Fred Duesenberg. His Space Age Model J today is a 60-year-old antique. But you know something we still say? When we mean it's the best there is of anything, we still to this day say, Hey, that's a doozy. And now you know the rest of the story.